So Katrina, we've drawn up this roof and I'm looking at this rake here. It's 17.2 feet right now. Is, is that an accurate measurement? Not quite yet. We're not accounting for the slope of the roof yet. Let's hop into facets and take a look here. You're right, because it's still set at zero. Mm -hmm. And if it's zero, well, that line is not a flat line. That line goes up and down the slope. Mm -hmm. So if we zoom all the way back out here to make it a little easier to see, we can see that we have five different slopes on this roof, and all of them need to be labeled with the correct pitch. Well, when we're in facets mode, we have the ability to select on pitch and view all of the different pitch values roof snap goes up to 24 over 12. This roof is a 612 on all of those primary slopes. Okay. And so to make it easy, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this plus button next to 612. This is going to put 612 on everything. Now, this back section here, though, it's not a 612. It's only a 412. Okay. So in order to change that one, I'm just going to select the 412. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to label that 6 as a 4. Perfect. Now we have the proper slope on all of the roofs. What's going to happen to that 17.2 measurement that we were looking at there just a little bit ago? Well, it looks like the app is going to recalculate that and compensate for the slope of the roof, bringing us to a 19.3. Perfect. So please, when you are using RoofSnap to draw the roof yourself, you must include all of your line labels and you must put pitch in on all of your slopes before you will get accurate measurements. But once you do, especially with all of these straight lines and correctly accounted for overhangs, your roof measurements will be dead on. Mm -hmm.